have, let me get my phone so I can get the calendar. If you need to start over again, so that's okay. <laughs> Can you go into the office, come back? This way? Yeah. Sideways. What's sideways? So basically, we have four classes before Ramadan and Shana. Okay, so we have four classes. This one and three more. We have this one and three more classes. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can come to that. Inshallah. Inshallah. So here is. So basically, our last class will be on the the ninth, the ninth of June, Inshallah. Mm -hmm. Turn the camera to the other side. So, Tadrib al Thabit. Tadrib, that's actually book, no, that's book two. Book two. So, inshallah, I hope we have. Share with me, yeah, share with me, inshallah, and then. Okay, Tadrib al Thabit. You're going to take the screen for yourself? I don't know. Okay, let us begin, inshallah. So, I want you all to repeat. After me, and this is making it easier for uh, those students that are not here, inshallah, so they can benefit. We almost did you bring your sneakers? Yeah, yeah, extra credit if you bring your sneakers, right? You buy your sneakers? Yes, okay, good. But, but you can walk inside the mess with sneakers. No, we're talking about basketball after the class. That's what that's what we're talking about. Okay. Okay. At Tadrib al Thari. Iqra. Iqra. Iqra al Fiqra. Thumma ajib an al Asila. Iqra al Fiqra. I will say. Sarah Taj. Tala Akhara. Is Fatima coming? Okay, inshallah. So, yeah, we need to, yeah, so, uh, let's do this, then. we bring the other table, inshallah, and we'll bring this table over. Yeah, one, one of them. One more table, inshallah. Okay, then, خلاص, خلاص. خلاص, the majority is no, no, that's it. Let's see the party, madam. That's it. That's it. We have one. Like I do with my kids. Like I do with my kids, right? If there's no space, then we sit here. <laughs> so, Sister Fatima, we reserve one, one seat for you. We have a... Okay. So, that we're, going, we're actually just going to begin. Okay? The tadrib, the instruction, right? The instruction at tadrib al rabia. Is it tadrib or no? At tadrib al thalib. At tadrib al thalib. Iqra. Travel Amr, right? Iqra, read. Iqra al fiqra. Iqra al fiqra. Look at this carefully. Just this is just a side note. Iqra al fiqrata. Why do you say Iqra al fiqratu? You know, fa'al, 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 maful bihi. 
Why do you say iqra and fiqra ta? Because the fa'il is not there. Right? Because when you say iqra, fi'l amr, when you say iqra, the commanding verb, you're saying iqra anta. So you don't have to put the name, you don't have to put anything. It's a command, right? So iqra anta al fiqra ta. So the fiqra ta has fatha. That's why. We have to ask those questions. Why is it fiqrata fatha not dhamma? Okay? Let's go. Iqra al fiqra ta al fiqra. Al fiqra is this this section, this reading. Al fiqra is this reading. So what right? You, so what are you going to say that about the fiqra ta? Uh, why it became instead of uh, ta? Why it became ta? The reason will be. The reason, the the reason is because the fa'il, the 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 fa'il, the one doing the action, or the one instructed to do the action is not there. Right, because the, the verb that is being used is a command verb. Right, when there's a command verb in Arabic, the, the person instructed to do the action does not have to be there because the command is like read. Right, you already indicated who is going to read. And the meaning is iqra anta. Right, uktub anta. Isma anta. That's what it means. No, that's true. But what I'm saying is, why does the fiqrata has fatha? Right? Because it's a noun. Al fiqratu is a noun. This here. Let me just let me just mark it here. This here is a noun. And the rule is that every noun originally has a dhamma at the end. Right? Kitabu, qalamu. Right? Okay, the, all the nouns have dhamma at the end. Okay, so here, this is a noun, it has fatha. Now, that's the, the answer is because the verb that precedes the noun is a command verb, right? A fel amr. Therefore, the noun that, that, that goes after it has a fatha at the end. Okay, so iqra al fiqra, thumma ajib an al asila. So the first thing, first instruction, read the fiqra. So this is a fiqra. When we begin the unit, right, what do we call that? That No, the whole reading. Summary. That mulakhas, that no. No, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you, I'm going to show you quickly. When we go to the to the unit, in the beginning of the unit, how does it, what is the name of that? Mm. There we go, you got it. You got it. Let me show up. The, the whole reading, the whole section, because it's a bigger section, it's called an arm. Right? Al Arq. That's the whole reading. It's bigger than a fiqra. Fiqra is just a little idea. Right? It's a small paragraph. Right? Al Arq is a longer composition. Al Arq is the, the, the reading material that includes all of the vocabulary for that unit. See how the difference is Al Arq and fiqra. Okay, Al-Ard, you, you got it, Vanessa? Or you lost? Yeah. You need GPS? Okay, yes, sorry. please. Okay, go, go to page quickly. This is, we have to cement these things, right? Because this is our fifth unit. That's why these vocabulary words are important. Even these words that are not part of the reading, they're just on in the page. So here, let's go to page 95. Okay, so on page 95, right, Al Ard. This is Al Ard. This is Al Ard. Okay. Okay, this is Al Ard. See Al Ard? This is Al Ard. This is Al Ard. This is Al Ard. All of these pages, 
Then we discuss the vocabulary words from this set reading material. Then we do exercises with related material. But this is the, the main material that we read. Okay, this is the main material. So this is called al art. Okay, now we're. I'm going to defer, but it's okay. Can we put it in the, in the middle, all three, and we have a wider space, and close it. But it's, it's okay, so I'm going to So this that we're reading now at the end of the unit, at the end of our unit is al At the end. Because you guys wanted to play basketball, so now you want that. Now you want that. Not that I'm doing back and forth. You, you don't have to worry about getting a, putting a hamstring and none of that stuff. You're good. Inshallah. See, save you some money for an injury, right? You have to go to the doctor. So this is Fikra. So the first section, Ipkara and Fikra. Read that section. The second instruction, what? Tumma. Ajib. On an asila, then answer the questions. The reading, com reading, reading comprehension, right? Oh, ajib from job. Ajib, ajib, nam. Ajib fell amr. Ajib on on an asila t. Why an asila t? Because before is on. Very good. So we just a little put in some grammar in here. So is asila t because before. The noun aspirati, there is an. Like fi, like ala. Okay? So let us, I'm going to read, you're going to read with me. You're going to read after me, yes. So fikra is not sentence, it means section. So I yeah, fikra is like, uh, like a, a small paragraph, one paragraph, right? One passage, there you go. Passage, that's better. One passage. Right, just a passage. So it's not a whole reading material. So what is the sentence in Arabic? Jumla. Jumla. Jumla is a sentence. Jumla is a sentence. Kalima is a word. Vocabulary is mufradat. Vocabulary words is mufradat. So let us let us read inshallah. Zainabu, Zainabu, repeat, repeat after me. Zainabu, Samina Tun Jidda. Takulu, Talata, Wajabatin, Filion. Zainabu, Takulu, Fil Fatur, Asamaka. وتشرب القهوة وتأكل في الغداء اللحم وتشرب الشاي وتأكل في العشاء الدجاج وتشرب الحليب وزن زينب مئة كيلو هل زينب نحيفة؟ don't don't answer yet listen to the question هل زينب نحيفة؟ كم وجبة تأكل في اليوم؟ ماذا تأكل وتشرب في الفطور؟ ماذا تأكل وتشرب في الغداء؟ ماذا تأكل وتشرب في العشاء؟ وما وزن زينب؟ These are the questions, okay? Okay, question number one. Oh, let's do this. Uh, let's read it again, or are we ready to answer it? Ready. Ready? You guys ready? Okay. 
Question number one. Asameen. Okay, let's do this. Question number one, let's start with Yusuf. I got it like that. Right before, okay. Brother Yusuf, question number one. I don't know what is my Okay. Oh, I'll join him in a hip hop market. Zainabu Samir, right? Samir Atun Jidda. Jidda. Okay. The answer should be la, la first. Yeah, you're right. Because why? Because it's the uh, hal. Good. Good. The answer is good. But whenever there is hal, the beginning is nam or la. So you say nam or la and you put a comma. Right? Hal Zainabu Nahifa La Zainabu Samina Tunjitta. Okay, so you have to say nam or la. Now if you say if you ask like this A Zaina A Zainabu. A Zainabu Samina? No. Kaifa Najib? No. Now, here Samina, fil kitab. Hold on, Samina. Okay. Naam, fakat. A Zainabu Samina? Naam, fakat. Anybody has another another option besides Naam? Bala. Oh. Right? Whenever you ask a, you know, Alayhi Allahu bi ahkami al hakimi bala. You don't say naam or la. Bala is like for sure. Yes, for sure. I bala. So here, a, or the answer is, is not naam. La, it is la. But in naam, you say bala. Okay. Rakam idne. Sister Diana? Can watch the tan Yapulu Watch the hand till our young. Okay. Samir. What do you What What Fatur, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Fil Fatur. Um, Laya juice. No. Laya juice and Fatur. Come there. No, no, but it's not Fil Fatur, no? Fatur, no. No. Fil Fatur, Yakul Samaka. No. Takul Samaka, Watashrabu, El Kahwa. Watashrabu. Yes. Watashrabu. Watashrabu, Kahwa. What did she drink? Pineapple, 
ماذا تأكل وتشرب في العشاء تأكل في العشاء الدجاج وتشرب الحليب رقم ستة رقم ستة ما وزني ما وزن ما وزن ما وزن زينا زينا you could start you could just put an X on the man Okay, you put a line on the mat and you start your sentence with a noun that follows it. So, ma was no Zainab, put a, a line on the mat. Anything that has to do with questions, you put you 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 cover it. You move it out. Okay, ma was no Zainab, was no Zainab, and the answer. Okay, good. Mia, mashallah, that's good. Good English. <laughs> Mia, Mia, we didn't learn Mia, but it's okay. Mia, Mia, Kila, Mia, Kila, Mia, Kila, Mia, Kila. You could, you could say, you can even say, was Nuha Mia Kila. You can put, you can put it as well. But uh, Zainab was not. Uh, Zainab was not. That, uh, you can say was no, or was no Zainab, or you take Zainab out and you put ha. Was no ha, me akiri. Was no ha, me akiri. Or yeah, that 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 would be best. So, but in the beginning, it doesn't sound doesn't sound right. It makes sense in English, right? It makes sense in English. If we put it translate, it makes sense. Yes. Answers to number two, three, and four. It started like Takulu Filashari Tajaj. So can it start like Zainabu Takulu? You can start Zainabu Takulu, but since you say Takulu, Takulu is already, already understood that we're talking in the whole Fikra about Zainab. So you don't have to repeat the name. See, the Arabic language is like that. If you can minimize the word and keep the meaning, then, then that is the richness of the language, right? So you will, instead of saying, Zainabu ta'kulu, you say, ta'kulu talata wajabat, aw tashrabu shay. You don't always have to put the name because we know that the ta in the beginning goes back to Zainab. Right? So that makes it a little bit uh, easier. But when we're learning, it's okay to do it, right? So Zainab, right? For you to know who you're talking about, Zainab, was Nuha, Mi'akil, something like that. You can do that. But the, the best way, so this is okay, but the best way is, was Nuha, Mi'akil, or Tashrabu, Ashay. Ta'kulu, so you're beginning with a verb, and uh, but you can also begin with a noun. That would be a jumla ismiya. Zainabu tashrabu ashay. Zainabu ta'kulu thalata wajibat. Zainabu, you can start like that. That's okay as well. Next, tadribu al-rabi. Tadribu al-rabi. Nafsul. نفس السوق الجملة اقرأ الفقرة ثم أجب عن الأسئلة So repeat after me قاسم يأكل ثلاثة وجبات في اليوم الفطور والغداء والعشاء سالم يأكل 
wajibatan wahidatan fil yawm al ghada qasimun ya'kulu fil ghada'i al lahma wad dajaja wal samaka wal arusa wal khubza wa salimun ya'kulu fil ghada'i as samaka wal salata wal fakiha Salah. <laughs> We left off. Uh, who was next? Uh, Elias. Drop him one. Kam wajbatu yakulu. Wajbatan. Wajbatan. Takul yakulu kasimu. Kasimu yakulu salasa wajba. Wajbatan. Jai. Salata. Ya wajbatan. Waj. Waj. So the, 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 this is a trick question, right? Because in the question is actually is asking you in a singular form. Nahtaj taki, do we need more AC? No, no. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask sisters, 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 sisters. How is the the climate? Do we need it? Huh? Is it because of the book or because it's hot? A lot of people are hungry. What? I am a young man. No, is it warm? I'm sorry. It's warm or cold? You don't understand. I'm a young man, not like old. Yeah, yeah, mashallah. Khalas. So here in the in the question, this to add, this to add. بدأ في السؤال بدأ في المفرد كم وجبة مفرد singular كم وجبة يأكل قاسم now when you look at the عندما ترى عندما ترى في الفقرة عندما ترى في الفقرة تقرأ قاسم يأكل ثلاثة وجبات. Okay, ثلاثة وجبات. So it's جمع, it's plural. جيد رقم اثنين. سيستا تشميل. وجبات وجبات يأكل سالم. سالم يأكل وجبات واحدة في اليوم. جيد. Oh, you went to get an extra, mashallah. No, it's good. Good complete sentence, mashallah. Rakam, Rakam Talata, Uthman. Maja yaktu asmu fil ghadai. Yaktu fil ghadai al-lahma wal-dajaja wal-sabaka wal-aruza wal-khubz. Jai. Rakam Khamsa. رقم أربعة هذا الزمن رقم أربعة سستر شناس يأكل أربعة أربعة فور Salimun, 
Or you can also say Yashrabu Qasim al Ma, or you can say Yashrabu Ma, Yakfisa. Rakam Sata. Manta Yashrabu Salim. Salim and Yashrabu Shai. Jay. Okay. Manta Yashrabu Qasim. Qasimu. Can I say Qasimu Yashrabu Al Ma? No. No. Jumla is me. You can say that. Qasim Yashrabu Al Ma. How Yashrabu Qasim al ma So you can. Huh? Yashrabu Qasim al ma al ma ha Fa'il, Fa'il, Mafol bihi. How Qasim Mubtada Yashrabu al ma Khabar. Okay? Jumla ismiya, Jumla fa'liya. And the Jumla Ismiya can also have the, the Khabar be a Jumla Fariya. Right? The Khabar can be a Jumla Fariya. So Qasimun Yashrabul Ma. Qasimun Mubtada. What is being informed about the, the about Qasim? Yes. Who are Yashrabul Ma? Okay. Yashrabul Ma. 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 نتجاوز الوحدة. الخبر. سالم يشرب الشاي. نعم. يعني هو يشرب يرجع إلى سالم. So you don't need to put the فاعل فاعل in the in the in the خبر. سالم مبتدا. And Yashrabu al-ma, the whole sentence is khabar. So Yashrabu has a dhamma, but... Yashrabu, no, now, now this sentence, now this sentence, you break it down. Yashrabu, what is Yashrabu? Fa'il, mudari, marfu'a, wa'alamatu, rafi'i, al-dhamma, zahira. Yashrabu is fa'il, is a verb. Right? And all verbs, present tense verb, mudariya, present tense verb, by nature, have a dhamma. So that's the way you you did you described it. Right? Yashrab, yashrabu fa'il, marfu'a. Anything that's dhamma is marfu'a. Marfu'a wa alamatu rafi'i ad dhamma zahira. Zahira is the dhamma that you can see. Wal ma maf'ul bihi. Mafrul uh, bihi, because it's not. That's what that's what Qasim is doing. Mafrul bihi, the Muqtada. It's going back to the Muqtada. Okay. So you don't. So in the Jumla, in the Jumla Fali, at the present in the verb sentence, the way it is is the verb, right? The one doing the verb, right? And the Mafrul bihi, the Fa'il, Fa'il Mafrul bihi, and that will be. يشرب قاسم الماء. But in the جملة اسمها. So that's we'll get into that إن شاء الله. We'll go over again, over إن شاء الله. Some more times the جملة اسمها, جملة فعلية. But what I want to do now, since we're reading, I want to focus on the reading. So we're going to نتجاوز نتجاوز الوحدة. بمعنى we will we will we will put this واحدة behind. A lot will go to next order. Okay. Okay. Right, so they have to now you have to lay the the protocol for usage, right? So one thing is the, the dog. If he does you know anything in the property, then that's even though we don't have nothing against the dog, but still.
many times is left behind. Okay, so Al Ardu, Al Ardu, Al Ardu, Jadid. So when Al Wahda, Al Wahda, the Sadisa. So on the right hand, Al Wahda, the Sadisa. Al Salat. الوحدة السادسة. Let me. I'm gonna just take a. Can I take a break? Just talk to each other. Yeah, this is our brand new. We need to play. Yeah, no, it's not. That's not the thing. Now, now we 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 need to play. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. They can play. Wow. Good basket. No, it's okay. The guys from the street. That's okay. Open. The real game is about to start in 40 minutes. The real game is about to start in 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Then <laughs> I don't know how to do
So in Wahda means units. Al Wahda to Sadisa. As Sadisa, the sixth unit. As Sadisa, sixth. Okay? If we say six, the number six is Sitta. Sitta, right? The number six. As Sadisa is the sixth unit. That's why it has Al. Al. As-sadisa, the sixth unit. The sixth unit is as-salah. As-salah. Maman as-salah. What is the meaning of salah? La. Logata. Linguistically. Dua. Yes. Salah, linguistically, means supplication. Dua. Linguistically. When we look at terminologies, uh, religious terminology, we look at a, a both linguistically and, uh, and Islamically, right? How, how are we using it? So, Salah is Dua. Salah means Dua. And the way we use it is as prayer, right? Prayer. So, the Salah also has recitation, remembrance, and also it has Dua, right? Glorification. Istighfar has all of it, these components. Okay? So why why do I? Why do I? Right? Because the ritual prayer is just movement. Right? The recitation, what is it? Is Allah talking to us. Right? God talking to us. That's the recitation of the Quran. The Quran is when we're reading it, Allah is talking to us. We're reading it, but Allah is talking to us. And then the dua we're talking to Allah. The dua we're talking to Allah. Right, so, so, so the recitation, Allah is talking to us. Then in the Quran and Sujud, we're glorifying Allah. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah, right? And then when we're sitting down, we're making istighfar. Right? Allah forgive me, I'm going Okay, so here, al hawar al awwal الحوار الأول انظر انظر واستمع وأعيد أول شيء انظر واستمع وأعيد مصطفى وأعيد repeat okay انظر look listen and repeat انظر next to the tape next to the tape from the 90s I would say right no 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 in the 2000s we say next to the CD now we just say USB. We should put a USB there, <laughs> right? Or or icon, I, you know, iPhone. Undo rostema wa aid. Aid is repeat. Aina tu salli al salawat al khams. Repeat after me. Aina tu salli al salawat. Al Khams. Usali Al Dhuhra Wal Asra 
والمغرب والعشاء في مسجد بلال هذا في بلاد الإسلام هذا في بلاد ما ما معنى ما معنى هذا This is from the Islamic countries. Islamic countries, right? Why? Because in every corner there is a masjid. There's no excuse. Right? And even you ask in the market, where's the musalla? And some, somebody made a musalla of their own, and you can still pray. Right? So here is five salats in the masjid. Right? And Fajr. And Fajr, astaghfirullah. And Fajr? No, you will say afterwards. <laughs> Let's continue the conversation so we don't put a judgment on, on Mustafa. <laughs> Good. So, Usalli al Dhuhra wal Asra wal Maghrib wal Isha in the Masjid Bilal. Okay, the next one, Mustafa. Wa aina tu salli al Fajra. Wa aina tu salli al Fajra fil Bayt. وقال مصطفى حرام عليك. I'm just adding it, right? If you if you can pray four prayers in the masjid, then the fifth must be easy, right? I thought I had a big prayer. I didn't see what. وصلي الفجر في البيت. مصطفى لماذا تصلي الفجر في البيت؟ لا أسمع الأذان. And the adhan is all. It is in Muslim countries all over. Like you hear, there, there's sometimes because they have different clocks, so different madhabs, right? So. <laughs> Allah, Allah, like it's like an echo, but it sounds beautiful, mashallah. Okay, let's proceed. هل تستيقظ متأخراً؟ نعم. بعد الصلاة الفجر. متأخرا is late. هل تستيقظ متأخرا؟ We're going to go through the meaning afterwards. So let's read. Okay. نعم بعد صلاة الفجر. استيقظ مبكرا. لا أستطيع. أعمل في الليل. مصطفى. دع المنبه بجانبك هذه فكرة طيبة جزاك الله خيرا He was being sarcastic I think Right? It's a good idea So do you need a meaning or a procedure? أين تصلي صلوات الخمس؟ The word صلوات The word صلوات is plural for صلاة. The word صلوات is plural for صلاة, which is the first word, the 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 whole the topic of this unit. الصلاة. الصلوات. الصلوات الخمس. The five prayers. Usalli, I pray. So you look at the present tense verb, fell mudarik. Aina tu salli, where do you pray? And he's responding, Usalli, I pray. Usalli, al-dhuhra. Limada, now we look at, Bismillah, now we look at the dhuhra, all of the, the nouns that, that go afterwards. Right, al Dhuhra, wal Asra, wal Maghrib, wal Asha. All of those are maful bihi. Right? Usalli fi'l. 
من يصلي أنا أصلي أنا right so in al fa'il is not there but أصلي is I pray already is indicating أنا and then what are you praying ظهر وعصر ومغرب والعشاء right so then all of those nouns have fatha you see the fatha ظهر عصر مغرب العشاء so those are all nouns Right, so the, all those nouns are maful bihi. All those nouns are maful bihi. That is the action that. That is the action that. Qusay, Qusay is doing. Qusay. So the names is Mustafa and Qusay. You got it. It's good. Mm -hmm. You have a halo. Yes. Huh? You have a halo. That's what. Oh, mashallah. <laughs> so he sees it from there, right? And everybody sees it. Mashallah. Mm -hmm. Mashallah. My little kid, my, my little son will come thinking that thinks it is living room the way he takes all the pillows and makes <laughs> like a little house. Good. Fi masjidi bilalin. Good. Masjidi bilalin. Bilal is a name. That's the name of the masjid, Bilal. Wa aina tusalli al fajra. So so you know what Dhuhr Asr Maghrib Isha means, right? Since when I said Dhuhr is the afternoon prayer, which is like a two. Al Asr is the one that we just did at six. Al Maghrib is sunset. Al Isha is the night prayer. Okay, the next one, Usalli Al Fajra. Al Fajra is the dawn prayer. Al Fajra, dawn prayer. Fil Bait, in his house. لماذا تصلي الفجر في البيت؟ Why do you pray fajr at home? لا أسمع الأذان. I do not hear the أذان. Name, name. And then he said it's a good idea to get an alarm. The أذان sounds louder. هل تستيقظ متأخرا؟ Now comes a now comes a real. Do you wake up late? No. بعد الصلاة الفجر. After fajr. After dawn prayer. استيقظ مبكرا استيقظ أنت استيقظ في الأمر استيقظ مبكرا wake up early لا أستطيع I am not able to أعمل في الليل I work at night دع المنبه بجانبك 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 since you're stopping at it بجانبك Right, but if you're writing it, bijani bika ka anta bijani bika. Da place da place the alarm next to you. Bijani bika. Hadi fikra tum tayyiba. That is a great idea. Jazakallahu khairan. Right, jaza, reward. Right, may you be rewarded by Allah with all that is good. Right, jaza. I'm I'm translating in the in the order that is jaza, jazaka. May Allah reward you. No, may you be rewarded, jazaka. Allahu by Allah, khairan that which is good. Right, that is literally. But the way we try and we put it in proper. Uh, order in English, like a sound good, may Allah reward you. And that is the way we put it in proper English. We translate it literally, and then we put it where it sounds better. Jazakallah right? khairan. Good. The answer when he said that he cannot wake up early, which was the second part, he works, or I work, he works. La a'malu. I work at night. Okay? Al Hiwar al Thani. Al Hiwar al Thani. 
repeat after me. So the names are the the names are Saleh and Isam. Saleh Isam. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Ana musafirun. إلى مكة. إلى أين أنت مسافر؟ أنا مسافر إلى المدينة. لماذا أنت مسافر إلى مكة؟ للصلاة في للصلاة. في المسجد الحرام ولماذا أنت مسافر إلى المدينة للصلاة في المسجد النبوية أو النبوي أين تصلي الجمعة في المسجد الحرام إن شاء الله وأين تصلي الجمعة في المسجد النبوي إن شاء الله So, assalamu alaikum, peace be unto you, wa alaikum assalam, and unto you be peace. Mu'ala song, ana musafiru ila Mecca. This is very, very important. The word musafiru, what is the root of it? Safara. Safara, good. So, what is the rule if a person is doing that action? What is the rule? If a person is doing the action, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what do we add? Mm -hmm. Good, 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 mashallah. So, whenever, so for example, Safara, right? Safara, when a person is doing the action, you just add me. Dhamma, right? And so here is Musa right? Musa Let's say Handasa Mohandis. Okay. Aslama. Muslim. Okay. So the person that does the action, right? You just add Nim Dhamma, Nim Dhamma. The person that does the action, right? The person that does the action is deserving of that. So that's not just by, it's not just by birth. It's not just, this is the one that does the act. That's the way, that's why it has the Nim Dhamma preceding it. Is, is Kalama the same thing? Mukallam? Huh? Kalama Mukallam. Kalama Mukallam, yeah. Also, uh, what else? What other ones? Okay, the next one, inshallah. So here, Musafirun. Ana Musafirun. Ila Mecca. Towards Mecca. Ila Aina Musafirun. Where are you traveling to? Ana Musafirun. Ila Al Medina. To Medina. Medina is north of Mecca. فلماذا أنت لماذا أنت مسافر إلى مكة؟ Why are you traveling to Mecca? 
للصلاه في المسجد الحرام in the prayer of the masjid that is haram <laughs> no. yes yeah yes i want clarification i can't i want clarification in the it says masjid al haram haram means forbidden sacred right in it it is forbidden to hunt Right? In it, there are some things that are forbidden in it that are not forbidden outside of it. The same haram, is that right? Right? The same haram. Yeah. Okay. Well, also, here what it means is like sacred, the, the sacred mosque. Okay, the sacred mosque. And the, the, the mosque is okay. But it's the same word. Right? So that it's good to understand what, what, what does it entail. Not say that it's a masjid that is haram. It's just that that's the, the, the meaning. We have to look at the literal meaning and then and understand inshallah. So why are you traveling to Medina? To pray in the Prophet's mosque. Where will you pray Jummah? The Friday prayer. Fil Masjid al Haram, inshaAllah, in the Masjid al Haram, if God wills, in inshaAllah, right, if God wills. Aina to Sali Juma, fi al Masjid al Nabawi, inshaAllah. So every time we, put, we say to do something in the future, we say inshaAllah, if God wills. Like we say in Spanish. Right. Si, si uh, te preguntan, eh, ¿cuándo va, vas a visitar a México? Tú dices una fecha y después dices que en un mes, ojalá. Same thing, same origin. Ojalá. Near the current time, this happens only because it's, they're talking now. So next is uh, the Zuma affair. No, that's what it says. It's, it's open because it's saying, Aina to Sali, saying, Inshallah. It's not like for sure. <laughs> it's saying, if God wills. Like if it's sure that He's going to do it, then, yeah, then it's sad. Okay. This one. Yes. Do you know the, uh, why they use uh, Usafir? I like can Usafir. I know Usafir. Musafirun is, is, is like mustard, it's, it's like where are you traveling to, right? Where are you, that, that's what it means. But you can say, Aina to Safir, where will you travel, right? Yeah. But Musafirun is like where are you heading to, right? So it is a verb? Yeah. Musafirun is mustard. 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 Yeah. mustard. So the mustard also has the, that's something else, the mustard also has the, the, the activity of a verb. Musafirun. Ana musafirun ila Mecca. Wa ila aina anta musafirun. Ana musafirun ila Medina. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go to the next one. Hwar al-Thali. Inshallah, and then Naqr, inshallah. Okay. Hada adhanu al-Asr. Uh, what, what, what I recommend, inshallah, what I recommend, uh, this this kind of like vocabulary words, you would not you would not find it in, in, in the dictionary that you got. The dictionary you got and Maulid and Muyassid is basic. But if you want, when you go you go online, you get you make sure you have your you have, you have your Arabic keyboard on your phone, on your smartphone, and then you search, right? Na'ana. You, 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 you put the word, but you put like this first. You put this na'ana, right? Meem, ayn, noon, alif, maqsura. Na'ana, right? And then, musafirun. Musafirun, right? You, you, don't, you don't have to put the haraka. It does it by itself. Okay? So what happens is here, when you search this, the website is going to come up with like this. Okay? 
and Ma'ani uses a lot of dictionaries and will give you what the what is the grammatical position of that word. Okay? So you use the Arabic keyboard. You use the Arabic keyboard, correct. I'm gonna show you quickly, inshallah, because this is I rather I rather give tools than than just this you can read it. We can read it later, it's not a big deal. But most important is so let's go to let's do it inshallah. No, uh, no. Yes, yeah, no, okay. Okay. Okay, good. Back. So you see, Al Ma'ani. See here? Al Ma'ani. With it, with, with what? Al and what? Al Ma'ani. Okay? So when you go to Al Ma'ani, traveling. See, I will be on traveling too, right? But let me, um, I want it in Arabic, not in English. This is another one. Yeah. The man in, uh, in Arabic. See? Musafirun ismun. Musafirun jama'a misfara. Musabirun ismu, Musabirun al waj, Musabir waj ma yabharu min. So here they have all these meanings. Musabirun ismu. Right? Musabirun al qawiyu ala safar. Al musafir al 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 misfar. Al misfaru al qawiyu ala safar. Al misfaru al kathirun al asfar. The one who travels a lot. Just one vowel changes the whole meaning. Al Misfar, Al Khawi Al Safar, the one who's who, 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 right, who's song in the travel, right, right, but also gives the same meaning. Al Kathir Al Asfar, the one who travels a lot, and then it, you continue. Safara, 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 Ila Yusafir, Musafira, Wasifaran, Fawa Musafir, Al Malmaful, Musafaran, Ilahi. That's grammar, right? So it has, it has the meaning. It has the meaning. So it's good to get familiar with it, but then sim simplify. You want the meaning in English? Then you go to the one that says translate in English, and you have it. It's for that, inshallah, you have it. There you go. See? Traveling, and suffer, intiqal, all the different ways of using it. Intiqal, right? Which is, intiqal is moving to, right? Habiba to suffer, the traveling back, right? So th those are also, you have a lot of meanings in English. Memory. Okay. So you guys have money? You got it? Good. So then get that. Very good. Make your make your phone more and more small, right? <laughs> okay. So the next one. Don't worry, he's gonna turn on in a minute to show you. Turn it off. Sadiq. Sadiq was Sadiq. Sadiq was Sadiq. Sadiq. Had a Adan Nasri. Haya Bira. In a masjid. Anna Usali Fil Bait. Sully Fil Masjid. المسجد بعيد المسجد قريب هل أنت مريض لا أنا بخير أنت كسلان هذا صحيح آسف 
You can start. Hada Sahihun Asif. Hada Sahihun Asif. Ana Dahibun Masjid. In Tadir. Ana Dahibun Mark. Hada Adalul Asif. That is a call of prayer for Asif. Hayya bina ila al-masjid. Let's go to the masjid. Ana usalli fi al-bayt. I'm praying home. Salli fi, salli fi al-masjid. Pray in the masjid. Salli is command verb. Al-masjidu ba'id. Ba'idun. The masjid is far. Al-masjidu qareebun. The masjid is near. Hal anta marid? Are you sick? La. أنا بخير. I'm good. أنت كسلان. You're lazy. هذا صحيح. That's right. You're right. I'm acid. I'm sorry. I'm acid. Yeah. أنا ذاهب إلى المسجد. مسجد. أنا ذاهب إلى المسجد. I'm going to the masjid. انتظر. Wait for me. In Tadr, wait. Ana Dahibun Mark. I will go with you. Ana Dahibun Mark. Ana Dahibun also different. Ana Dahibun, I will go with you. Different, different, yeah. Mashallah. Asif is like, uh, pardon me, forget, like, sorry. Yeah, pardon me. So we did, Mashallah, we did the lesson, the, uh, the next lesson, uh, beginning unit six. And so what I want you to do is write down the vocabulary words, the new vocabulary words. And then also two things. One, write down the vocabulary word. Two, is practice just one time. Right? Take, take 15, 20 minutes, take 30 minutes. Even while you sit down, maybe eating your, your night meal or something like that. Just take 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and listen to the audio on the website. Right? Listen to the audio on the website. So the, the website is big. I-S-G-H dot O-R-G slash Samir Arabe, right? A A R A B E Y. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you go there and you find the audio. You find the audio and you listen to it. Listen to it and repeat after it, right? So you can get better at this content. Okay? So you have all the audio of the whole book. Of this whole book, you have the audio. Right? But don't get ahead of yourself. Because I tried before doing it like this. You're just doing it whenever. Any technical difficulty, you need to have a second. <laughs> Anybody need this contact information? Just on Facebook and show it. This will make it convenient, right? And that's a good thing. But yes, but this is, we have no excuse. Honestly, this is once a week. If every every night or every day you take 15 minutes to listen to it, by the time you come back next week, right, and we go through the vocabulary words, you know the meaning. Now we get to polish up any word, any correction of the word, pronunciation of the word. You might ask, I forgot, what does this mean? Or, you know, I didn't find this meaning, etc. Or you can deal with things that you didn't find. But we don't have to deal with all oh, what we took today, next week again. Because we have three more weeks, right? Three more weeks, and that's it. And we stop until after Ramadan. Inshallah. Inshallah, there you go. That's part of the lesson. That's the credit. After Ramadan, we should finish our salah. No, we finish it today. <laughs> we pray today, and the Maghrib will be gone.